for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. And we'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Emperor. And it's with the Four of Wands. Now the Emperor... It shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not usually wanted. In fact, that's what, that's what should be welcome, or that's what the emperor welcomes, and that's what you must think about when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important for you to maintain your concentration, maintain your focus. Well, the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So, enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence, and the self-control focus that this brings. Forge ahead, do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So, it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands it indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so you want to make sure to go. You have a good time. If you have a business, it's going well, or it will be going well. Uh, you'll be proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you also. Although this is a positive card in the deck, it does show that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about yourself. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. The Four of Wands can also mean that you might be thinking about moving. Or you could be moving your place of residence. So, Scorpio, basically for the recent past energy, it's saying, with this emperor clarified by the Four of Wands, because the emperor is a type that only uses his head and not his heart. And then you got this four of wands here, which is, it's the marriage and commitment card. I'm getting that for a lot of you. You wanted commitment from this person, from your person. Or you wanted it to go to the next level. But for most of it, most of you, you wanted commitment from your person. And they kind of went cold on you. Because the emperor is cold. They don't use their heart. They only use their head. This person could be a leader, a boss. They could be really arrogant. They're the type that do not want to come across as being vulnerable. You know, they, they have a really hard time opening opening their heart. So they just don't go there. They don't do emotions really well. So you found this out because you might have started talking about commitment and you realize this person probably shut down on you. So that's the recent past energy between you and your person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up between the two of you. Well, we got the Nine of Swords, and it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Nine of Swords, it's about needing to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, you might want to take a look at that. Or take a look at whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it or if things were 
other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, you might want to take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. So yeah, with this Nine of Swords, something could be troubling you with regards to the relationship. Now it's with Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, you're likely to find that in, in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top and things should be going well, you should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But actually, it's the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it can point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So coming up, Scorpio, Nine of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands. So yeah, like I said, um, with the Nine of Swords here, the connection might start to trouble you. Because you realize that you opened up to this person and they did completely the opposite. Yeah, and you also realize that like the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands, they want to win. They want to come out on top. They want to be the last man standing. And you realize that that's what you wanted. And you probably start to realize you're not going to get this from this person. So it's causing you some anxiety coming up. And the relationship is so, it's showing that it's going to start to trouble you. Yeah, because the Nine of Swords is about nightmares, anxiety, grief, maybe some depression. Yeah, you wanted to win this connection. You wanted something more serious, like the Four of Wands. You, a lot of you wanted commitment, and your person just, they, they went cold on you. And it's causing, coming up and showing us. You be you may you could be experiencing some anxiety because of it. Yeah, that's not fun. It's not a good feeling when you finally decide to open up and your other person they shut down or either they don't. So sorry about that for whoever this is resonating with. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Ace of Pentacles, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings, so you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be an area of work. Or it could be personally, but either way, it's a good thing. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands. With this, with this card showing up, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Yeah, because if you look at the picture on the Ten of Wands, it's the card below the word challenge. Yeah, you see this man, he's carrying all of these wands in his hand. He's walking forward. But he's actually about to fall backwards. So you might want to look hard and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load. Either literally or figuratively. Because if you are careful, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying. Emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So... 
It's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now, the challenge, Ace of Pentacles clarified by this Ten of Wands. So, you could be tired of the anxiety that you're experiencing. And you realize that you just need a new beginning. You need a fresh new start. Um, sorry about the noise. Yeah, so you realize that it's time for a new beginning. Life is too short to be um, going through hardship or anxiety. But you're finding it difficult, though, to, to move past this. To move past this grief that you're experiencing with the Nine of Swords, you're having a difficult time, and the relationship seems difficult, because now you realize that you and your person, you're on two different pages. So the relationship is at a hard place, and you're, it looks like you could be having trouble picking yourself back up. But you know, deep down inside, you need a new beginning. You need a new, a new fresh start. And I'm picking up it's not with this person. So, we move on over and we take a look at the outcome. Now, we got the Knight of Pentacles. And we got the hangman. Well, the Nine of Pentacles, it's about stability. It can indicate that you're ready for a serious relationship. And it, in, it actually indicates that you could find someone who's ready to provide you with the security and the support that you want and need. Because the Knight of Pentacles, uh, someone's coming in that's s stable, secure, solid. They offer commitment. They're very practical and patient. They're like your knight in shining armor. The armor, that's what the Knight of Pentacles is. It's a very, very good energy. They're not afraid of commitment. They're stable. They're solid. Practical. Knight of Pentacles, they make good fathers. So there's something good coming in. They, yeah, if someone could be reaching out to you. This could be the new beginning that you, you want. Could be because, uh, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is really good. Now it's with the hangman. Now, the hangman, it shows that you're at a crossroads. Could be the type with two options, in or out, up or down. Yes or no, you could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. So, if this happens, it's a sign that you should relax, stop, and take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, things. It's possible that there could be an outdated an outdated attitude or wish that you might need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So there's something you need to let go of because you got someone good coming in. Yeah, because you're stuck in your head about something. It could be about this emperor that didn't open up to you. Maybe you need to let, let go of that completely so that you're not so confused about what to do next. Because like I said, 
you've got you got your knight in shining armor coming in or someone that's stable and someone that can offer you commitment someone that can offer you something solid so that could be the new beginning that you need yeah so this new person this knight of pentacles could be a new person could be someone you know already or i want to say for a few of you just for a very few it's the emperor but if it, if it is this emperor who didn't open up to you i don't think you see you're still not going to get what you're hoping for they might come around for they might see it may seem like they've changed or they they've come back around to you in the way that you want them to but i don't see them um being what you want for long it may seem like it for a little bit but the emperor they don't really like i said they they don't open up their heart and with the four of wands um this, this card is very expressive people are expressing their emotions if you look at the picture these two ladies they're smiling at each other they're looking into each other's eyes just showing and expressing joy happiness and you don't get that with the emperor and it looks like for a lot of you that's what you want so if this knight of pentacles is the emperor uh it's not going to be like you want it to be yeah the emperor is a type that would rather have you die wanting to know what's in their heart so if this the knight of pentacles is someone new like i said it's a really good energy they make good fathers get stuck out of your head do whatever you can grab this knight of pentacles have a new beginning with this knight of pentacles because the emperor they, they're really cold so i wish you a lot of luck scorpios i hope you enjoy the reading i hope it resonates as you know general readings they do not resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i post my next reading i will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how do you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those so scorpio thank you so very much for watching i hope all of you are doing good i hope all of you are well and staying strong and taking good care of yourselves during this crazy virus season hang in there it's gonna pass we'll all get through this so take good care come back and check out the next scorpio reading just in case this did not resonate maybe the next reading will Yeah, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, for these readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with a love interest, your person, they could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. I can never say it enough, Scorpio. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care. Day and take care. Day and take care.